you know, you see the Riders board and uh, that's up there. There's a lot uh, Jürgen Rolands is doing a real good job for Boland to keep him in the front end of this group. Thomas Falkland has been hiding himself nicely at the moment. Here we come. Here we come. It's, it's crunch time. It's the deciding time. Down to the bottom of the hill. It's hard at right as Paulini leads them through with Nibali in second place. It's now or never for anybody who wants to win this World Championships. Vincenzo Nibali sitting in second spot at the moment. Jürgen Rollins looks over his shoulder to see Tom Bonin. Azan Bazayev is still in this group. This must be the chance of a lifetime for Bazayev. Number 13 there in the colours of Spain. Still to uh, just wick up the, the gas is uh, Joaquim Rodriguez. Oh, the Belgians are all over this at the moment as Nibali goes forward. It's Nibali followed by Lurkemans. Rollins looks over his shoulder. Oh, they're doing distance. Here comes Gilbert. Gilbert is going for it for a long way out. Philippe Gilbert has got the kick. Is he going to make it? Here comes uh, Edvard Boz and Hagen. The Russian who's going for it at the moment is Alexander Kolobnev. He's always there or thereabouts in the World Championships. Kolobnev is tracking down Gilbert. A huge roar from the crowd. Philippe Gilbert, there's masses of Belgian fans who want to see this man as world champion. He's got a very good gap here, Sean. Yes, and uh, he's looking impressive as well, because when you go that early to keep it going, but for the moment, uh, he's keeping going very well. As you see, Bozenhagen, really impressive here for the moment. Bozenhagen, Kolobnev and Valverde. They're, oh, they've got a big gap to make up on Gilbert. Has he got enough in the legs? That's a big gap. And Bozenhagen's looking behind. him Sean this man is going to be world champion they're not going to get him back and they're going now for silver and bronze and Kolobnev it is who's going to get another medal but nobody I think is going to catch uh, Philippe Gilbert at this moment unless he dies in the last 50 meters or so well, Gilbert is giving everything here yes he has a really good advantage and I suppose the advantage he's got is they're not a big group of riders we see three chasers here and it's all in the same situation where they want to look at each other but still it's a long way to the finish from here Philippe Gilbert basically said to his men, get me to the finish and boom, I'm off. Valverde, Kolobnev, Boisenhagen playing the game for the silver medal now. Philippe Gilbert is under the one kilometer to go, Banner. The man who had the most dreadful start to the season after a stellar 2011. Everybody thought he was going to be unbeatable in 2012, but it didn't happen for him. He didn't win a single classic. He got a place, but he didn't win one. Two stages in the Vuelta a España confirmed he was coming into sh to shape. And look at this. There's not a single person in the peloton can touch the Walloon Belgian. He's going to be world champion. He knows it. They know it. We know it. Philippe Gilbert takes the best time of his entire life he's won the classics but nobody nobody could take away a world championship for you as as uh, Ed Valbos and Hagen pushes on for the silver medal but that was an almighty attack by Gilbert waving the crowds the Flemish line is out and Philippe Gilbert is the winner Valverde gets bronze Degen Kolb gets fourth, I think. And uh, Borsenhagen gets a silver medal. Extraordinary finish. Gilbert, they took him to the bottom, and that's it. Kowala for everybody else. It's curtains. They did a good job. Those two men, Greg van Evermart and uh, Björn Leukemans, did a fabulous job setting him up. And he just waited, just waited, just waited. And as soon as Nibali decided to attack, he said, I'm off. <laughs> Philippe Gilbert. Now, at the end of April, Sean, and uh, into May, would you have thought this man could be world champion? Well, I think uh, when you look at the season, he 
put up last year, you'd say, you know, uh, he's, he's going to come around. When will it be? It was a matter of when, and it's just taken a long time. I was expecting after the classics, I said, the Tour of France, he'd be really, you know, on top shape, but not really getting to his best at the Tour of France, but it's the Tour of Spain, the last number of weeks, he seems to be just getting better all the time. But what a performance there to attack at that point and, you know, pull that advantage. He pulled a huge advantage out of everybody else, and the others were just, you know, sprinting on the climb to try and close him down and uh, just uh, a magnificent victory and uh, the Belgians badly needed because the last one was Museo back in 96 and then you have to go to 1990 to Rudy Danis. <laughs> That's a long time. We've had uh, we've had a Belgian winner here of course in the World Championships in Limburg. Eddie Merckx back in 1967.